Hey guys, today I am going to teach you how to make these beautiful pom-poms. They are so fun and happy and I think they're just what we all need in our lives at the moment. So one of the great things about this project is that you don't need anything fancy apart from your yarn and some scissors and some cardboard. You can cut it out from a cereal box if you want and I will show you how to make this little cardboard template that you make your pom-poms with. You can get the kids involved. Mine are a little bit little but they did have a lot of fun winding on the yarn and um, otherwise slightly older kids would be totally all over this. And look how nice and fluffy they end up. Okay so keep watching and you'll learn how. So here's a close up of my pom-poms. I love this method because you get really nice round fluffy ones. So you'll need some cardboard, around about the weight of a cereal box, doesn't need to be too thick. You'll need two round shapes to trace around, a large one, I used the lid of a jar and then I used a dollar coin for the middle. The size of the large one would directly affect how big your poms are. Pen or pencil and then grab whatever yarn you have at home. I experimented with some that was a little bit more chunky and my others were around about 8 ply. You'll also need a pair of scissors and just a tip, try and find the absolute sharpest ones you have at home. Right, so first of all, let's make the template. Grab your larger round shape and trace around it twice. Then grab the smaller round shape, pop it in the center and trace around that in both as well. Then we're going to cut them out. So start by cutting around the outside of the larger shape. Then you need to cut the inside out. You can actually cut into the circle, making a kind of keyhole shape with two slanted cuts. And there they are, your template is now ready to go. So pop the two sides of the template directly on each other. Now it's time to start wrapping the wool, but first we're going to cut off a piece about 30 centimeters long and put it to the side. Grab the tail end of your wool and start wrapping it around your template. The key is just to be as even as you can in terms of building up thickness across the template and make sure you leave a bit of space on either end of the template so that the yarn doesn't slip off the end. I find it easier to have the ball of wool on the floor and you just want quite a bit of slack in it so that it's not tugging on the end of the wool as you're wrapping it around. I'd recommend for your first few tries, don't wrap too much wool around. You can do that later once you get the hang of it, but it does get a bit trickier when you're at the cutting stage. So once you're done, snip off the end of the yarn, and now we're going to cut the pom-pom out. So you want to slip the scissors in between the two sides of the template. The trick with this is to make sure you've got a good grip of your pom-pom so that you're holding the bottom of it where the threads might slip off. Once you've done as much snips as you can, flip it around and now we're going to snip it on the other side to meet the cuts in the middle. You can see why sharp scissors are key. Once you've finished snipping it, hold it carefully in your hands so that you've got all the pieces without them slipping off the ends of your template. Grab that piece of wool that we cut earlier and now you want to wrap that around your pom-pom once again in between the sides of the template. So it's a bit tricky managing the pom-pom at this point but you definitely get the hang of it. Once you've threaded it right around the inside of the template, grab both sides of the piece of thread and we're going to knot it off to hold it tight. So I do a double knot, so once really tight, as tight as you can and then do another knot. If that doesn't get quite tight enough, you can always rewind it around and do another knot after. So let's take off the cardboard template now and free our little pom-pom. Check it out, look what you've made. A bouncy little pom-pom. Now you might notice that there's few bits of yarn that are poking out a bit from the nice circle of your pom-pom. So I just squash the pom-pom down and make a bit of a pom-pom sandwich with the sides of the template. Then you can go around with your scissors and cut any bits that are poking out. Once you've done that, flip it over and squish it in the opposite direction, then do that again. You should end up with a nice round pom-pom by this point, but you can always do some freestyle snipping to get it as perfect as you want. And just look at what you've made. A happy, joyful little pom-pom. And if you're anything like me, you'll get totally addicted and want to make a whole family of pom-poms. Stay tuned to my channel because I will be sharing lots of cute ideas of what you can do with all these pom-poms you'll hopefully make. Things like wall hangings, pom-pom garlands, adding them to tassels, tying them onto baskets, you name it. I'd also love to see what you make, so make sure you share your creations with me. 
Happy making, guys.